morning it's Rachel here I'm just doing a quick video on Sunday before lunchtime I just thought I'd update you on um, the goodies that I made the other day in the previous videos that you watched so you could see everything finished and then I wanted to show you something really exciting that I saw um, by someone else so these are the little um, pockets that I made so this one's going to be a pocket, but it's going to be somewhere that you can put photographs in and journal on and that sort of thing. I love that. And then this is one of my tied ones. I just put a little line of glue down there to glue it because I thought this can also be a tuck spot. So that way this doesn't sort of slip around. And this idea, mine are a little bit different, but um, the idea came from Shabby Debby Doo that she does really beautiful, elaborate sort of ones. Um, and you can see here I put some papers in and that's one of Sarah's printables and a little bit of her lace and just some paper behind it and this is absolutely one of my favorites um, and that's from my Christmas printable I won't tie it up again um, so yeah in the journal um, I'll probably glue it there there and there so it's a tuck spot behind and then also somewhere that you can write and then this is another vertical one that I made again I glued it and I really love it with the tie and I left that plain because you could write or put a photograph there and again some of Sarah's printable so that way you could write here and then some papers as well and then this one I can't remember what it was um, again it's glued and then oh this one I made um, a pocket here and then some writing papers some of the lace and then um, what I would do is glue it on two sides so it's a tuck spot or actually this one's wide enough that you could glue three sides and it could be a proper pocket as well this is another vertical one and inside I left it plain and then just lots of papers and some lace stitched across oh, I made so many and then here I have oh that's one of Sarah's printable doilies um, some of her lace, some of my printable, and just some papers to write. And then here, I left this plain because I thought it's a nice place to write. And also there, and then inside, a bit of a doily decoration, so you could write there as well, and then just some papers. This is, an, this is also one of my favourites. Love that. Um, so this one, it's a bit narrower, so I think I would um, use it more as a side pocket so glue it on two sides and um, a side loading sort of oh no this one's actually that way this is a horizontal one sorry um, yes yeah, so yeah I, this one I would glue three sides because it's wide enough to put things in and I've got a pocket here and then some lace with Sarah's lace and then just lots of pieces of paper and that's the edge of one of my little doilies this one is just a pocket I've stitched it down there and it's a pocket and it will be a side loading pocket the same with this one here a little bit of Sarah's lace and I put a little bit of it up there as well and then this one I didn't put a tie around this one I didn't feel like it needed it and it's just a pocket that flips up and it can be a side loading pocket behind as well then the next thing I did was I didn't do this on on film these are some of my printables from my Christmas um, kit and some of those um, embossed antique postcards and I've just made them into little journaling cards I just really like those and that's one of Sarah's um, printables and then I put one of my post I, I put that onto one of my old postcards that's one of my faves that's one of my in my um, kit this is also and I put some Christmas paper on the back and then this is also in my kit so I, I used a lot of the postcards in my Christmas kit to create these the birds it's super old these postcards and then that's one of my um, embroideries in the printable and I put that on the back. And then here's another one from my kit. So these are all from my kit. Um, just put some old book page on the other side. That's one of my favourites. Really lovely. And this is also from my kit. I put one of my doilies from one of my other kits in there. On there. And the same on here. The other bit of it. And that's one of my old postcards. And the same that one and then this one as well 
But they've crossed out, it says Buon Anno, which means Happy New Year. Instead, it was meant to say Buon Natale, and it was, which means Happy Christmas. A um, bit of Sarah's um, printable there. And then the cats, that's going to go on the cat journal. And then these are some printable. I don't know where I found these. It was like a collage sheet that I found. I did some collaging there. Um, and I had, I've had it printed out for a while. I think, I don't know. I think it might have come from the, I don't know. I don't know where it came from. I'm just guessing. So I did a little bit of collaging on the back. Oh, this is just a pocket made from scrapbooking paper. It's going to be, I've, I've um, clipped that corner there. So I'm going to glue it down this side and that side. So it's a side loading. Um, did I make this? Yeah, I made that one. That's got two pockets. And then these are the tags. Yeah. So just all different, a little bit of collaging on the back. That's one of my favorite tags. That's a really elaborate tag. It's got a lot going on there. Um, and then this one. Again, Sarah's printable, my printable, a lot of printables here. And then that's just a stamperia paper bit of lace on the back. That's just a, a scrapbooking paper and I just put a bit of lace at the top. Um, I just wanted to use up all these bits and pieces of paper that I have. Um, little, I mean I didn't yes yeah, someone mentioned I didn't do as much collaging as I normally do but I did do a little bit if you look when you see them in person you do there is a bit of collaging so I'll just quickly show you all of these I won't keep repeating I've used Sarah's printables and my printables so you can hear Lulu sending a message to one of her friends so that's one of my embroideries Sarah's lace that's my printable, Sarah's printable, a bit of lace on, real lace on top, and some old book page. And then these were the two, just I kept those plain because they're quite nice to, for someone to decorate and write on. And then um, just the same one, and then scrapbooking stamperia paper and some printable, and that's the back. And then this is Adi Mays when I put some lace down the side and then that's the other side of the scrapbooking paper that's a bit of Sarah's lace and then that's the other side um, this is the cat um, one that I made with some doily on it that has to go into a journal that I'm making at the moment um, the bag journal that I'm making for Casio is that how I say your name um, so um, and then this is also Sarah's printable stamperia paper and some old book paper and then this is the last one now the other thing I was really super excited about and I do watch a lot of videos but um, you know I sort of just watch them and work along and I don't really ever do anything from videos that I've seen because often it's like in a flip flu a flip flu a flip through and um, uh, they don't really tell you how you do it and maybe it doesn't grab me because um, sort of you see a lot of people doing similar things and so I don't want to do the same as everybody else um, but I was watching um, I'm sure some of you watch her Jessica Rapp I did buy two journals from her and I Lulu and I did a flip through of them um, and I was watching her live the other day and I wish that I could watch it in person um, when she's actually doing it but I think she does them when we're sound asleep and as I'm getting old my eyes just shut at a certain hour and they don't open again until the morning so um, anyway she was taking she was the first person to ask me to purchase some of the catapaglia and I sent her a large bundle and um, and so the other night um, I'll put a link below to this video it's two hours long I watched all of it I love listening to Jessica she has a lot of really funny stories and um, the ladies that comment are really funny and I just love um, I love just love having her lives on while I'm working anyway um, she had these um, pieces of paper and some of the cartapaglia the straw paper that I sent her and she was um, collaging on them and then she said she's going to cut them up and make things out of them like tags and maybe journaling cards I'm not sure because um, I wasn't really paying attention and probably until I was listening. I was listening more to the stories than what she was doing. Um, and, um, and she was putting bigger pieces of um, old book pages that had really beautiful um, sort of black and white images and things on them, which I didn't have available at the moment. But I do have um, big bags of scraps 
that I just want, I really just want to get them down. I'm so tired of carrying them around and stuff. So anyway, um, sort of at the last 10 minutes, I was just like, it just registered. That's a really great idea is to collage on some big pieces of paper and then cut them up and you have the surprise of what it's going to look like. Um, so I hope that's okay with you, Jessica. I'm sort of playing around with your idea. I don't know if I understood it correctly. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So I've done some, I've, I'm meant to be working and all I've done is I've been doing is collaging. So I wanted to show you how cool this idea is um, of Jessica's and I'll just get my cutter and I've made quite a few so I'll show them all to you and then I'll show you um, what they look like when you cut them. So this is, um, so I've let this dry, I think I did this one yesterday and then so one side I did a bit more um, patterned and the other side a little bit less patterned. Because one side might be a side that where you might want to do a bit more writing with a black pen or something. So that's the first one. I did this one this morning. And I have a bag. I'll show you the bag. I have bags like this. Two bags. Where I just keep all these sort of um, plain sort of book pages and bits and pieces and that sort of thing. Um, and scraps. And I've got another one. Where is it? Here. I've actually got two going and they're kind of they become out of control because I don't seem to use them but I did find I had this beautiful Christmas tree image in here um, so I, I'm so excited to find that and I had little pieces of doily and stuff so um, and just pieces of writing because I can't throw them out and you know you just keep the most ridiculous bits of paper it's just crazy so I just started collaging them that's the other side little piece of Sarah's lace there and then um, I did another one this morning. I did three. I'm supposed to be working. I had this piece of my printable there and so um, and some more writing and just mixed bits and pieces of paper. I had kept this little strip because I liked it. Um, I think that was a tsunami rose. And, um, and then that's the other side. I love that. So I put one of my postcards there. And then the other one I did this morning was this one. So obviously they're all in Christmas themes. Don't know what I'll do with all these tags. Um, and then some of them will go into journals. And then I might put some tag packs in my shop or something. Um, and then Lulu, I was really excited, came and made one for me. She didn't want to do Christmas. So this is Lulu's collage. And then um, that's the up reverse side. So... Um, that's that one and then the one I first one I made I sort of I did do a video yesterday but then a friend came over and so um so I I had to stop the video and I, I won't post that because it got cut short um so this one I already cut so um I cut this piece off this is a little strip of um, one of Sarah's embroideries I couldn't throw it out I loved it so much um and when I cut this piece off I loved it so much I don't want to cut it up into a tag I think it's going to be I think it might be a really nice flip out. I'm going to put it as a flip out. But it could also be a nice side loading tuck spot. Even though it's a shame there's collaging on that side. So that's why I thought maybe it's better as a flip out. And then I have made two tags already from another strip that I cut off that piece of paper. But they're really, really, really cool. So Jessica, this is such a cool idea. And I really hope you don't mind um, me playing around with it. So let's just, um, I won't cut Lulu's because hers is still drying. I'll cut yesterday's one just so I'm sure that because that they're, the other ones are dry. They dry pretty quickly and you just use um, glue stick. So just bring your, get your cutter and just sort of um, guess, just bring it over a bit, move that out of the way. Oh, I'm a little bit too close. You can't really see, can you? Um, so, yeah, you just kind of wing it about um, how big, how wide you want them. So I might cut that down there. And, I mean, it's just it's just gorgeous. Look what you get. And then cut that in half and get two tags. And so then cut them like that. Then I'm going to cut the corners off. Because I like the... Oh, they could be nice um, rectangle tags as well. So just let's cut the corners off. 
I haven't put my um, tripod up high enough. I'm a bit close. So that's my tag. It's super pretty. It's not even that Christmassy in the end, is it? So that could be any occasion. And then um, if I want to make it more Christmassy, I then put out these here. These little images. And I'm just going to sit down to do this to see what I like. See what I like the best. Let's move it over a bit. Um, so I just sort of, and I really like that. So there's that one. I just, what I do is I say, so if I like it, I like that one too. Um, I like that one too. Oh gosh, this one seems to go with everything, not that one. So I just, it's just a process of elimination. You just sort of put them on top, see if you like them, and then put them to one side if you do like them. That one's not going to work, it's too narrow. Nope. Nope. I won't do all of them. I've got a few good options there. I like him there too. That's horizontal. No. Um, no, no, no. You can kind of see what's going to work and what's not going to work. Okay, so then I've got um, four or five here that I'm not sure which one I would like to use. Let's just put that out of the way. That's better. Um, so what I do is I'll hold it there and I'll, then I'll put the next one. Which one do I like the best? Him or her? I think I like her, so I get rid of him. Then I compare her to the next one. And I like her more, I already can see that. Um, let's see this one. Him or the little girl? I think I like the little girl, she's winning. I like that one. Still like the little girl. I could go back to my first choice. No, I think I, that one's going to have the little girl. And I'll just, or PVA glue it, or double side, or double sided tape. And then the back is like that. And so I might put a bit of lace on the top of that one. And then the other piece I had was this one. So let's see how this one looks. So let's um, trim off our corner. I should be doing my orders. I'm going to get on to my orders in a minute. You know, it's Sunday. I need to play a little bit sometimes, otherwise I go flat. So that's that one. And look at the other side. Perfect. And I might even just like this one with nothing on. I don't really want to cover up the bird, do I? I've got this little image here. No. I think I'm going to leave that one as it is. I'll do some stitching around it. And I quite like that how it is, so I don't need to do anything. So let's, it's just so much fun. Let's just try one more. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a tickle. Let's do some narrower ones. Slightly narrower. So I'll just trim that off. And you can see it go, it becomes quite robust. Um, so nice on the other side too. So you just sort of decide, um, and when I did the collaging, I thought one side was more for um, <clears throat> the writing side and one side was more the decorated side. But in this case, um, yeah, that's probably better for writing on. So, um, and these are quite plain. So yes, I would like an image on those. Quite like that one there. Might like the Santa on that one. Don't mind the Santa. I think I kind of decided that one. He kind of blends in. Quite like that one too. And I might make these long rectangle taggy things. No. Don't mind that one. Let's see this one in black and white. Quite like that one, but no. No. Oh, I don't mind those. Yes, and you could then decide to um, do a bit more collaging, like you could put, um, for example, I don't have much here at the moment, but you could put something like that there, so that would be nice with a bit of lace, so I might do that. Oh, oh I, Lily's explaining English to one of her 
different school companions. That's nice too. Let me see this one. Mm, I don't mind that one either. So let's just move that because that's confusing me. No. I think I'll... I quite like that one. That one. And I think I like the Santa. Let's put Santa on that one. So those will go there and that one might get a bit of lace or something on it. So that's those two. And then probably not on this piece. So these will probably all become tags. But you could also cut them and they can be pockets. So you could cut them like that and then cut your little semicircle out and they can be pockets as well. For example, this one, this one's probably dry, I can do this one. Um, I really like this part here. So this I would maybe tend to cut it out more as a pocket or a journaling card. So let's just cut that out and see what we get. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, even that on a whole page could be a nice tuck spot or a flip out as well. So let's just cut this. It's going to be too tall as a pocket. Unless it's in a big journal. I really like that. And look at the other side. So that's going to become something. I'll put that aside. And then this, what will this be? This needs something else. This needs something else. Um, so you can put then decide to put an image or I've only got these small images but something like that um, and then it can become I think it could become a side loading pocket or a flip out but I might not have something here because I'm getting low I need to reprint stamp not reprint things like her oops dropped it um Anyway, that's, that kind of gives you the general idea. So that's a really cool idea by uh, Jessica. And uh, I thank her for sharing that because um, it's really fun. And um, I also wanted to show you quickly, the, I'm, again, I, I, I'm showing it's not Christmas, but I'm showing it now because I was inspired again by Jessica. She does beautiful journals, as you know, um, with birds and things. So if you remember her beautiful journal with these beautiful cut out birds from books and things. And so I don't know why. I just went ahead and bought, I found this book on um, Amazon. Let's move the cutter out of the way. So I found this book on Amazon. It's called Field Guide to Animals of Britain. And it has the cutest um, images in it. So I thought that would be wallabies. Um, really cute to use here and there and things so I'd like to do a bit more of that sort of thing so cute and then the, I've got another one coming it hasn't arrived yet and then I got this one which I really love um, ba Basil Eddie's Birds has anybody heard of that? I hadn't heard of this one before um, to Craig happy 8th birthday love Darren huh? Um, and let me tell you when the 1980 printed in Milan, Italy. How funny. Anyway, um, let's get to some of the wonderful, wonderful illustrations. It's quite big, so it, uh, or you fussy cut them out or you have to use them in um, bigger journals. But I'm going to like that. How That would be a beautiful journaling card. So, yes, I'm going to use these. I love this book. I have another one coming. When that comes, I'll show you. But yeah, I got it on Amazon. So really cool. I didn't have many of these things with really nice um, bird sort of illustrations and things. Love birds. Yeah, so that is it for today. Um, not a very long video, um, but I hope to be back soon. I'll be back with flip throughs because I'm, I'm getting to finishing my journals and I have to make another bag journal today. <coughs> and then I'll be back with flip throughs so thank you for watching and I hope you have a great um, relaxing Sunday bye